Good morning, we are the Didino family. I'm Mike. I'm Katie. I'm Elise. I'm Natalie. Please join in the opening song. Let us begin our prayer today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this Sunday's Liturgy of the Word. Today we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Lent and hear about how Jesus calls us to follow him and how he will be glorified by God. Friends, as we prepare ourselves to hear the word of God today, let us quiet our hearts to reflect about how we can continue to be open to Jesus' invitation to friendship in Lent and ask for God's help with serving one another. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. O God, you give us every good gift. Guide our path as we walk towards the end of Lent and help us to plant good seeds so that we may continue to grow deeper in your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says, The time is coming when I will make a new agreement with the people of Israel and Judah. It will be different from the agreement that I made with their ancestors when I led them out of Egypt. Although I was their God, they broke their agreement with me. 
This is the agreement that I, the Lord, will make with the people of Israel. I will write my laws on their hearts and minds. I will be their God, and they will be my people. No longer will they have to teach each other to obey me. I, the Lord, promise that all of them will obey me, no matter who they are. I'll forgive their sins and forget the evil things that they have done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. And renew a steadfast spirit. Wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me of all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Give me back the joy of your salvation and the will. My mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will be my servant. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Have you ever had something or someone in your life that you thought would be there forever? And then it turned out that they weren't? As a little girl, my favorite stuffed animal was a stuffed penguin that I got for my first birthday. I slept with it each night and took it with me everywhere. I couldn't imagine my life without my favorite animal, and I thought I would have it forever. When I was six, I took my stuffed penguin on a family trip, and of course, it came with me everywhere, including our outing to the amusement park. 
Well, I didn't know it, but that would be the last day that I would see my stuffed penguin. He got lost somewhere in the park, and I didn't realize it until we were in the car ride home. I burst into tears, sad and devastated for losing my most favorite friend. Not long after, I got a new stuffed animal penguin. And of course, I was more careful about where I took him. Well, in our gospel today, Jesus isn't giving us a lesson on how to guard him. The placement of this reading in the Gospel of John takes place just a few days before the event, events of Jesus' last days, death, and resurrection. Here, Jesus continues to foretell his own death, coming soon, and how God will glorify him. Using the metaphor of a grain of wheat, he says that unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces new fruit. In the season of Lent, we are asked to give up something or take something on that will help improve and deepen our relationship with God. Sometimes this can be hard because it could be something difficult or something that we don't want to do. But just as Jesus tells us that his death is coming soon, he reminds us that sometimes to be in relationship with him requires us to challenge ourselves to do things that maybe we don't want to do or might not be the cool thing to do. If we are willing to let God into our lives and sacrifice our own desires and wants, God can do amazing things. The grain of wheat that is planted will cease to be a seed, but grow into a plant with roots. So too, if we are willing to serve Jesus in our lives, God can help us to bloom in beautiful ways and plant deep roots of faith. This isn't an easy call, but will require us to dig deeply and recognize that there might be some things and people in our lives that don't help us to connect with God. God desires to be in constant relationship with us and calls us to be so full of life each day. So some things, some of those things that we thought might be there forever can't be. Losing my favorite stuffed animal broke my heart, but it also taught me that when I got a new one, that sometimes I won't have things forever, but I would appreciate what is in front of me and all the new adventures I would have with my new friend. May you continue to be open to the ways in which God invites us to serve others in the world so that we might grow, learn, and deepen our faith in how we understand the world around us. I now invite you to pause your video and discuss these two questions with your families. One, what seeds have you planted in Lent that you want to continue into Easter? And two, what is one thing that is keeping you from being closer to God? We bring our needs and requests before our God. For the church, may we continue to recognize what it means to truly obey our Lord and walk in the Lord's ways, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders of all nations, may God create in them a clean heart and renew within them a firm spirit to work for peace, justice, and reconciliation, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our nation, its leaders, and its people, may we engage in genuine dialogue in all issues with charity and compassion, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our St. Ignatius Parish community, that Lent may continue to be a time of forgiveness and renewal in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our confirmation students on their retreat weekend, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide and sustain them as they prepare for confirmation. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our elect and candidates, may their final weeks of preparation for the sacraments continue to confirm their commitment to serve and follow Christ. We pray, Lord, hear, hear our prayer. And for those who have asked for our prayers and for our beloved dead, may God's glory surround them. We pray, 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayers and show us the path to glorify your heavenly Father, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's pray in song and gestures the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Thank you for participating in our online Family Liturgy of the Word today. Our teens, parents, and family members are invited to participate in a reflection and conversation with the parish community about The Secret Life of Bees on Friday, March 26, at 7 in the evening. You can either read the book or watch the film. Please see the bulletin or our most recent flock note for more information. Registration is required. Lift your voices and sing. If you and your family are interested in making music for our liturgies, please contact Andrea for more information. Many thanks to all who offered their time and talents this week including our host family, the Daninos, Mickey Zabello, and all of our wonderful families offering their gift of music, Andrea for sharing the word of God with us and giving an insightful homily, and to Molly Manning and Michael Sennett for piecing together our production. And so we pray. O oh Lord, thank you for the gift of your word. Having received this gift, we ask for the grace to be more like Jesus in our words and deeds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God bless us, protect us from evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and have a great day. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.